the high sounding players. Suckers taking elevators everywhere they go. And then clock 45 minutes on the stair. Master. Master. Who is your master? Who is your master? I take public transportation. And you can sing along on the DJ. Moving my body from station to station. Moving it underground. Today in San Francisco, we say no. 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 We will no longer be silent in the face of these brazen attacks on our health and the environment. Today we bear witness to the connection between unsafe cycling conditions here on Fell Street and our own fatal dependence on fossil fuels for transportation. Motors block the bike lanes at all hours of the day and night. We need to close off this entrance here. This is the best solution. It's not for cyclists. It's for everyone who's disgusted by what's happening at all and wants to prevent it from ever happening again. Future generations will learn about how our society treated people who opted out of car culture. How we continue to design streets that cause deaths and injuries of vulnerable road users just to maximize traffic flow. Streets that scare people into lives of inactivity and oil dependence, and they will recoil in horror. In response to the mentally ill man who mowed down four innocent people on bicycle the other day, the San Francisco Bicycle Coalition tells us that our streets are safe and that we should ride. Well, you know what? They're not safe, and they are very rarely pleasant. Riding a bike in the city could be paradise, and sometimes it is. But right now, for most of us, and especially the young and the old, it is a scary, scary experience. Instead of giving us tired old platitudes, they could have used this horrific incident the other day to condemn the countless acts of intimidation of people on bicycles throughout the city every day. People who use cars as deadly weapons to threaten vulnerable road users revving their engines like predatory animals, discouraging people from riding their bicycles. Incidents that the SFPD respond to only with a nod and a wink. Our fossil fuel dependent society is neither advanced nor civilized. All the luxuries and unrestrained mobility that we take for granted are an historical anomaly made only possible by a finite supply of cheap oil. We are literally being kept alive by these large multinational corporations like BP and Safeway. When the cheap oil runs out, which it inevitably will, our civilization will collapse just as so many other human societies have collapsed in the past. We've got to urgently prepare for this happening. But today we stand up together and reject that fate. We know that another world is possible. Yeah. The future of humans living in a reciprocal relationship with nature and not an exploitative one where we take and take and take and take for selfish individual short-term profit. A future where health and the environment are prioritized over profit. A future with networks of safe green routes for walking and cycling, lined with trees and plants connecting the whole city, the whole Bay Area, and the state, where clean, quiet, and frequent public transit connect cities, where we have leisure time to spend with our families and friends, and we are no longer forced to waste our lives under fluorescent lights at jobs we hate just to keep ourselves and our families alive and feed our cars. A sane world where we can feed ourselves without resorting to factory farms, tortured animals, poisoned fields, and genetically modified crops. A world, a world where we are reconnected to our fellow human beings and to the natural world rather than being separated from each other by steel and glass. Money is not real. It is a construct, ultimately only paper and metal. What is real are plants, human beings, and other animals. The love between a mother and her child, that is real. We must build a new world based on that or we will end up destroying this beautiful planet and every living being upon it. If any good can come out of this catastrophic situation in the Gulf, it can be an opportunity for people to come together and start building a better world, the way we have built up this little green park in front of the Arco station here today. Power is not taken, it is given by all of us. And if the powers that be will not face up to their historic responsibility to quickly wean off of fossil fuels, 
we will have to stop giving them our power. We solved this long-standing neighborhood problem here ourselves, at least for a few hours. We didn't ask the government to do it for us. We didn't give money to a nonprofit to lobby the city government for us. We just went out and did it ourselves. Yeah. It, it really is that easy. Thank you. And our government allows corporations to put profits above health and safety, and the system's so broken that it takes an extremely long time to solve these issues. There comes a time to get creative and do it ourselves. Yeah. Support the, the city closing the, the bike lanes over there. Yeah. I mean, you're going to have to keep something open. Yeah, as long as the, the Divisadero would stay open, just close the ones on Fell. Yeah. That would be our idea. So you support like a, a, a clear bike lane out on Fell Street, which is why a lot of us are here today. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Especially because um, I saw somebody almost get hit actually right here like two days ago because hella people were trying to get into this gas station. Yeah. And the guy a, was on his bike and he like ran into the back of this van. It's a bad situation. It's like yeah. if we can't make, you know, safe routes for bicyclists, how are we ever going to reduce our dependence on oil, right? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Here's Paul Friedman to rock the mic and rock the bike. <laughs> Public transportation. I like moving my body from station to station, moving it underground. I hear the sound of the city, and ain't it a pity, but you're stuck in your Mercedes, trying to roll it. What a commercial, they extol it. Just like they close a restaurant that has poor sanitation, they could close these entrances, and they should. So, we're going to be back, and we're going we're gonna to block this entrance again, and we're not going to go away. 60 ain't so relevant anymore How about 0 to 10? That's what you're paying for Stuck at the toll booth getting indignant Spewing the fumes that make my cells malignant